All right. Obviously, mine's a little different. It uses a pipe instead of uh, baffles, but same principle. YouTube sits just below the pipe or the baffle. Mine sits about about an inch below the water line right now, which is about a about a half inch below that pipe. All right. And what happens is you shut the water down or you shut the pump down and the water line can't drop below the top of the pipe. And being that the U-tube is below that pipe, or baffle in your case, it's going to stay submerged under the water, which in turn will leave water in the U-tube and it won't allow the water to drain because it's sitting below the water line after the pump shuts down. So, we'll shut the pump off. That's my siphon brake. You notice the hole starting to open up in the tube there because the water is starting to stop. Starting to stop. And that's pretty much it. It's just about stopped. You notice it holds the water line, which the U tube sits just below which in front in turn holds the water line at the same level and the U-tube again sits just below the water line which keeps the water inside the U-tube not allowing air to get in there so being that there's no air in your U-tube the siphon doesn't break and as soon as you click the pump back on the siphon starts itself again I'll turn the pipe and we'll turn the pump back on <coughs> Turn it on. No, this is no water flow yet. There we go. Water just reached the top of the outer box, starting to flow to the inner box. The siphon didn't break because it holds the water line. Now, if that tube wasn't there, or if those baffles weren't there, then the water line would drain completely to the bottom of the of the outer box, which in turn would empty the box of all of its water, causing the U-tube to be exposed to air, breaking your siphon. But, being that that tube is in there, or those baffles, it doesn't allow the water to drain any lower than any lower than the tube or those baffles. A little bit of gargling. Water's now back to normal operating level. That's it. So as long as you have those baffles or a tube in the bottom of your box. It won't allow the water to drain completely, which in turn doesn't allow the YouTube to break siphon.